Alright folks, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics, Zell 58. In the last episode, we uh, read the Grammonic Scriptures, and uh, also saw a little cutscene with uh, Delita basically saying, Stick with me, kid, and, and we'll go far with uh, the princess. So, as you see, we've recruited a new member, um, one of... Uh, uh, another Let's Player that I think uh, does a really good job and deserves a little more limelight and I didn't ask if she wanted to be part of this but I included her anyway so hopefully she enjoys it. Uh, it's a sweet metal chick and I'll put a, a link to her channel in the description or if you just check my front page she's one of the uh, uh, Let's Players that I recommend. Anyways, I've made her a monk and basically her combo will be Monk Thief. Uh, that way I can uh, have Galen focus on something else. Not only that, but we need more female characters, so that's why she got put into that. Also, Cactar, I hope you're not upset. I uh, switched you to a ninja just because I wanted to show off your ninja abilities. I think uh, your throw ability will be much more useful than uh, the knight abilities at this point. Uh, I do plan on switching you back to a knight, so don't worry. Um, just, I, I, you know, I think this setup works a little bit better for you for now. So, with this we see some deserters uh, who just want to go home, but then when they notice that Zell is a heretic, and that by killing uh, him, they could probably go home and not have to uh, live in hiding, they're like, um, let's take this fool out. Kinda sad. You know, we just wanted to let them go. We didn't want to fight them. But they wanted to fight, so okay. Yeah, just got squires, archers. It's a pretty easy fight. I should be able to make a easy work of them. I also have worked out Chanson, so now he can show off all his lancing abilities and in all its glory. And I've gotten a little crazy. I think it, just about everyone has concentration now. <laughs> it's just too good. I, I never really realized how good it was until I started using it. It was like, oh, hey, I don't have to worry about anything getting blocked or evaded. This is awesome. It does make it so much easier. Let's see. Teleport? Yeah, I figured that was going to fail. Oh, well. Time magic. Hmm. Yeah, everyone has a low level or low chance of getting haste. That's not good. Let's see, can we make it? Yeah. Let's see. Yes. That's when Lancers get good, when they can go a very long distance, because then you can focus on people that just took a turn and will most likely not be able to get another turn before uh, before you would land. Good man. And yeah, none, none of them have anything really worthwhile. Ah, oh, Dash, you son of a bitch. I hate Dash. You can't counter Dash. It, like, it does... It doesn't do much damage, but it just does enough to annoy you to where you wish you could counter. <laughs> I gotta get rid of my regular potion, so when you use auto potion, it's either a high or X potion. That's when it's a useful counter. Forty-six percent. You really gonna try that? Also, I think I gave Cactar now uh, Blade Grass, the same that Galen has. I just thought that would make him a pretty tight assassin. Until I can get the the Knight Swords, it might actually be best to be a ninja. Let's check this out. Oh boy. 220. Not too bad. Although, 
I think I'll just keep you, or keep Cactar until he gets the two swords ability, and then switch him back to a knight. That way he can have a blood sword and then whatever else, so he can get health back whenever he attacks, and then put in a ton of damage. Heavens, come out. Let's get some slow, get slow, get slow. Oh well. Let's see, can I get two with one? It looks like it. Oh, dang it, they're different heights. Really, why are we still fighting squires? But this far in the game, and we're still fighting squires. Yeah, take out that chemist. It's about to be his turn, anyways. Look at that. Straight up assassin. Really, X Potion? Ugh. I'm surprised we aren't fighting, you know, high level mages and whatnot. Oh, dang. That's when a bow's good. <laughs> when it gets its spell add on. Let's see. Who could sweet kill here? There you go. Taking down a thief. Let's see. Yeah, that archer is annoying me. So is that chemist. I can't believe he used X potion. But at the same time, I was wondering why aren't we having more of a challenge with these guys, so I guess I asked for that. Bada bing! Galen could take him out. Yeah. Nice. That's what you gotta love about the, the Lancers. They can attack from two squares away, so they can't really be countered. And not only that, if somebody gets up close, I mean, with their gear, they have such a low chance of being hit. Let's see. And yeah, throw stone. I really wish Squires had more cool abilities. Why do I still keep Zell as a Squire? Yeah. Well, he does have unique abilities. And I usually, I, I keep unique characters and their unique classes, I'm weird like that. But, okay, cool. Finish those fools off, and now we get to uh, move on. Let's see, did we get anything good? Mithril? No, already had that. Thanks! For nothing! I'll go tell your family you fought bravely or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you were just defending yourself, dude. Don't, uh, don't beat yourself up over it. Oh, look, it's Olan. We meet again. See? This is why it's, uh, useful to, to help out people. Because you never know what would happen. Say, like, Zell didn't help out Olan, and then they ran into each other here. Because you know you would have survived. That freaking powerful ability. Um, and he would have been like, oh, that's a Bavel. Kill him. Could have been really bad. But instead, he's like, oh, uh, yeah, we're just supposed to find deserters. So they said nothing about, you know, killing any heretics. So technically, he's not doing anything wrong by letting us go. I didn't realize that, uh, uh, Orlando was his father-in-law. I thought I thought Orlando had like adopted him or something like that. If so, who's who's uh, Orlando's daughter? Daughter. 
That's weird. Yeah, father-in-law. I don't know. I should really read into it, I guess. Because that would probably explain it. Hmm. Okay. And yeah, it, as you see right here, yeah, Zill doesn't fully trust Olan, but, I mean, he's obviously on our good side. So, that's cool. It's nice to know that, you know, somebody that's technically on the other side of the, the battle is willing to help us. I guess we really don't have a stake in a side, it's just that our brothers are on one. Anyways, folks, I'm going to uh, end the episode here. So next episode, we will continue to try to save our sister, Alma. Till then, this is L58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, of course, favorite if you liked it. Um, and I will see you later. Bye.